What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Olivia and for today's video, I have a quick unboxing I want to share with you. It is of my first Marc Jacobs bag. I'm so excited to open this package up. So if you want to see what I got, make sure you stick around. Before we begin, I would just like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and make videos on anything and everything luxury designer handbags related. So if that is something that you love as well, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and without further ado, let's get to this unboxing. So here is the package. I just received this today. I purchased this bag from Neiman Marcus. I did have um, gift cards from Neiman Marcus, which I earned from my purchases from last year. And I also had additional gift cards from my Amex Rewards. So I pretty much got this bag for $20 not even kidding you like 21 dollars and change or something like that so i thought it was a great deal i've been wanting to find a perfect work tote and i think this is it so i'm so excited to be able to actually take a look at the bag i have never seen this bag in person but again i've watched so many youtube videos um, that i feel like i already know what to expect but i'm so so excited to open it so let's go ahead and open it up They have it wrapped in plastic. Ta-da! So this is the tote bag. I'm so excited. To be honest, like the Material looks a little bit different than what I had expected. It's actually this like, if I give you a close up. Um, it, it is canvas, but I, okay. I've heard from all of the YouTube reviews um, and unboxings of this bag that this particular color the black color is going to attract lint and i can already see that being an issue because i do see a lot of little like like lint already stuck <laughs> and i just opened this bag so it's not the actual material i expected but it is light enough which i do appreciate because i plan on carrying my work laptop around and other things in this bag so i really need something that's light enough that i can carry and so it wouldn't be too heavy after i add all of those heavy items in this bag but i really did wanted to test out to make sure that my work laptop will fit i do know that the mac the macbook pro will fit in this bag but no one's really tried putting in the Lenovo. You know, I think a lot of companies use Lenovo as work laptops. At least that's what I use for my company. So I wanted to make sure that that will fit as well. So yeah, so here is the beautiful bag. It has the tote bag on there in the front, Marc Jacobs. And then the back, you already know, it says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location NYC year 1984 and I don't know what this piece of plastic is but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it so there we go um, so this is, I was trying to find like the actual material name um, of this bag. 
it just says canvas traveler tote so um yeah it's very cute i love it so much inside let me just open up this handle we'll just take this little in here and everybody raves about the zipper so let's see okay and when i open it the zipper pull tab is wrapped in this little styrofoam type of material the inside has this cardboard here and some stuffing and then here is the strap that it comes with and it has this little silica packet here is the interior of the bag it has another cardboard behind the pocket right there and aside from this little side pocket here the bag is just an open tote right there and what else does it have oh this fell off but the the zipper pull tab right here looks like the, in, the inside one looks like it's leather and it has oh my gosh this it's difficult because this strap is just hanging on here so let me go ahead and cut this off And oh, that's a little easier. Um, the strap is actually, eh, no, the bag's still fairly, it's not heavy, it's just heavier than I expected. <laughs> I'll tell you how many pounds this bag is, um, but it is a pretty sturdy, structured bag. I don't think you're gonna need one of those organizers unless you like to have your different compartments. I again just plan on um, sticking my laptop, my mouse, everything I need for work in this bag. Um, and if I use an organizer, it might make the space a little bit more, like a little smaller. So I don't think I'm gonna get an organizer. I am gonna test it out to see like after I put my laptop in here to see if the bottom is actually going to, you know, kind of like, way down so i'll let you know I'll, i have my laptop with me so that so that way i can test it out and then here is the strap so it is an adjustable strap and the bag comes with silver hardware Going back to the actual bag, again, it has this side pocket. It has a zippered compartment right here, and then also like two little pockets here and here. I think this will be perfect for your cell phone. And the zipper, you can actually take out like this, and you can open it, you know, all the way. If I wanted to, you know, close the bag, you can just keep that inside right here. You know? But it is very smooth. Like everybody raves about, it really is a smooth zipper the way you open and close it. And it does seem durable. Let me just take this off. There you go, everything is removed. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let me see. It doesn't really have any smell to it. 
Uh, again, it is canvas. But again, you guys, I think the lint is going to bother me a lot. I do not have any pets, so I don't have to worry about pet hair, but I do see this being an issue because again, I just opened it up and you can already see that there's lint on here. I mean, my office is not that dusty, okay? <laughs> but I don't even know where this came from. But it's already there, so I don't know. I was debating on getting this color or the other one, which is beige, with like the black like area right here. So we'll see, because I really think that this color might bother me with the amount of lint it's going to attract. So I'll keep you guys updated. As far as the size itself, I think it is cute i mean i think the size is a pretty good size it will definitely hold what i need it to hold so the dimensions of this bag is as follows it's 10.6 inches in height 13.2 inches in width and it is 5.9 inches in depth i think this bag would be perfect for work and also for school and to test that out let's make sure that this actually can hold my work laptop so here is my work laptop it is a lenovo thinkpad i think this is a pretty common work laptop so let's see if it actually fits inside It fits in there with no issues and I can still zip it up. So that holds my um, laptop in there. And also I have a notebook that can fit in there with no issues. So for those students, that are watching that are interested in getting this bag it looks like this will be a perfect school tote as well what else do i have that i want to i don't really have anything else that i want to test out so yeah i mean those are the two things that i really wanted to see if it does fit in here and it does so definitely the size is perfect for work or for school. What I really like about the Marc Jacobs bag is that it does have the zippered compartment. Um, so this will be perfect and it will keep your things secured. So let me show you guys the mod shots of this bag. I am five, two and a half for reference. And here is how the bag looks on my frame. You can carry this bag on the crook of your arm like this. I don't think it would be carried comfortably on your shoulder like that. It's way too tight. Uh, so that's, that's a no-go for me. Um, you can carry it top handle. Or you can obviously utilize the detachable, adjustable strap that it comes with and you can carry it like this. I have to tippy toe because it'd be hard for you guys to actually see. And then you can also wear this bag as a crossbody. Yeah. And again, it is an adjustable strap. So I just kept it um, at the setting that it came in. And it's fine. I would definitely carry it this way. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more. If you have any questions or comments, if you just want to say hi, leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. As always, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.